So in previous section, we assigned iSCSI Learn to the Windows. And now we are going to assign the iSCSI Learn to the Linux operating system. Just like in previous section, we'll create the one volume of 5 GB. Then we'll create learn zero two on the top of that volume. We have created the learn and this learn right now. It is not assigned to map to any of the initiator so we are just going to create the i group and this is the ice case number of the one uh, of the client who is going to consume the resources from the netter so we'll create the i group just the way we did in the windows and we'll specify the operating system is going to be linux we can specify linux operating system and we'll give a name line x01 to this i i group so if we'll go in here we'll see like just like windows 01 we have created the line x01 which contains the i i skizzy number and this is a line which is going to get mapped with that particular i group and once this operation is done mapping operation that this learn will be will appear on my linux operating system it is going to be on 02 so which was created on sandlun 2 yeah and now I'll just confirm the mapping. This one is mapped to the Linux 01. Now in here, we can see that it has been mapped and let's go on the host and consume the resources which has been assigned from the net app. In order to consume the resource, we'll first confirm whether we have the multipathing installed in this one. We need to validate the RPM packages are installed or not. The multipathing multipath package has been installed or not. Yeah, the multipath package has been installed. We'll just confirm. We can also confirm using the config file. So this file is present. It means the multipathing software has been installed on this server. We'll what we'll do, we'll build it the services of IceKZ is it running or not system CTL status ICAZ. it is not enabled so we'll start the service and we'll enable it also Yeah, 
and now this iSCSI service is, is running so we, what we'll do we'll just discover the connection What is going to be our IP? Okay. There was a typo mistake which I was doing. There's no active session. verify the lunch show we got all both the path and we'll just check configuration in the same multipathing software but multipathing software so this is a 5g built disk which we have uh, assigned from NetApp. we can take this one we can see that disk. We can see the disk. It is there. We can, if required, we can do the formatting of this one. And we will make a Mount point we will format that particular drive which we have created with the ex4 or xfs and whatever and then we will mount this one On slash t1 and we in dfh we can see we can write the 50 gb no 50 mb file in this Size equal to one M and count equal to fifty so that it can be done immediately. So we will see we have wrote down the fifty GM in this ice kids disk. This is how we can have the connection of the ice kids disk with the NetApp. Thank you.